What's going down guys? DJ Marcellus Doe here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add in your wash light fixtures to our sound switch profile. So these are fixtures that are just your basic par cans, uh, your wash effects, any of your old up lights that you may have that are still wired, uh, any just simple light that doesn't move or have any type of gobos or any special effects. Uh, so for your simple wash effects lights or wash lights, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and minimize your folders over here to your right. So we're going to minimize both of these folders. Now these folders are named wash light one and wash light two. Uh, and the same kind of goes for the movers as well, but we will get on that in another video. So once we click on the folder icon here, it will consolidate all the fixtures in that folder down so that you only see the folder so once we only have the folder showing we're going to come up here and click the plus icon now up here is your fixture library this is where you will search for and add in your fixtures in this demo here i'm going to use the mega hex parts as we're used to use these in our setup so we're going to go ahead and drag one fixture into each group so make sure you're dragging the corresponding channel that you're using as well. Uh, so your channel mode, not the channel that you're going to put the actual fixture on, but your actual channel mode, make sure you're dragging over the corresponding channel mode. So once you drag those in, we're going to go make sure that our DMX address is then set correctly. So we're going to come to the top, click on DMX, and in sound switch, it's going to add the fixtures to the first eight available um, since we dragged in the eight channel mode uh, mega hex bar so you can see those are here uh, so the first thing you want to do is make sure you go ahead and add it to group one group one is all your wash lights so your up lights etc um, and then you want to make sure that you put the blue one on your secondary uh, for wash light secondary this comes in on the back end if you want to program some of your songs uh, and have sound switch auto script them it will make that auto script show look a little better um, as it programs those lights so now we're done uh, we are officially done adding in the lights to our program so if you come over here to the red and blue and you click the play icon in the bottom right uh, you should see that your lights will start working uh, that you just add it into the software. Um, now the last part of this would be going in and making sure that you adjust your static scenes as well. To access your static scenes from the edit window, you're going to come up here in the top right, click on MIDI. Once you click on MIDI, you're going to start off on the performance page. You're going to click on static looks. Once you're on static looks, you can then access all of your static looks. So, for instance, I'm going to show you the static white main. We're going to right click on that, click edit, and then we're going to scroll down until we see those mega hex bars. So, now that we got those mega hex bars added into the software, we're going to click the plus icon or the check mark to activate it. Double click on the black square to activate a color. So, we're going to make those white. And then we want to make sure we turn up the intensity. Now we press OK and our wash fixture is good to go for our static scenes and our auto loops.